ये सब बहुत हाई पेइंग और बहुत सारे जॉब्स हैं इसके स्टॉप Instead of mindlessly scrolling through YouTube, watching all of these different videos, you can watch this particular video wherein I have covered absolutely everything you need to become a full stack web developer. Hello guys, this is Ali Salanki, and today we'll be talking about the entire roadmap of being a full stack web developer. Now, I had previously covered other roadmaps, for example, being a mobile app developer as well as blockchain developer. So, if you haven't watched them yet, then do give it a watch. Now, a small background about why you should even listen to me and who am I to give you the roadmap, right? So, I've been learning about web development since the past four to five years. I started out making websites as a freelancer and then slowly shifted towards being a mobile app developer and then even a blockchain developer and now I'm learning about AI so it's been a crazy journey but it all started with web development so how did i become a web developer where did i learn all of these things for what are the sources through which you can learn the same and uh, we'll also be talking about how much can you expect to earn as a full stack web developer both as a freelancer as well as through jobs through salaries as well so we'll be going over every single thing so make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get right into the video so first of all, what exactly is a full stack web developer? Now, web developer, as you can guess, is a person who makes websites, right? But full stack basically means that he can make the front end as well as the back end part of a website. So what is exactly front end and back end? So front end is everything that you see on the client side. So when you type facebook.com in your browser, you see the blue website over there. You see the login page. You see the sign up page. You see every single thing over there. So that is made by a front end developer. They work on the look and feel and how it will be presented to the user. So that is what front end developers work on. So then what exactly is a back end developer? Back end developers work on the server side. So this includes everything right from authentication to even uh, storing your data and everything. Okay, so now that you've understood the entire concept, let's get into how you can learn and how you can become a full stack web developer by yourself. So the first thing that you need to learn, which is the basic building blocks of being a web developer, and that is HTML, CSS. When I started coding, I used to make these small websites using HTML, CSS, and this was specifically uh, related to my portfolio website. Even if you go on my YouTube channel, I've made a specific detailed video about how to make your portfolio website. Just go and check it out. And uh, over there, I've shared a template HTML, CSS document with you. So HTML, CSS is used to make your websites, right? It is used to make the look and feel of a website. I already knew about the basics of HTML CSS when I entered my first year and in my first year I started to advance in it. Where can you learn it from? I would not suggest to buy any type of course for just HTML CSS. Rather, just go on YouTube and search for uh, some of the tutorials and you'd find a ton of tutorials specifically designed for HTML and CSS. Just make sure that it is on the latest version. So it is on HTML5 and also the latest version of CSS. By the way, all the resources would be down in the description box below. So you can go check it out. I'll keep on updating it as well. So if I find any new courses, anything interesting, then I can uh, add it in the description box below. Or even if you find some interesting videos, if you find some interesting courses, leave them in the comment section. Okay, so now you've learned HTML, CSS, what next? So the next thing that you can learn is the front end architecture because HTML CSS was working on the look and feel of the website. So now you can advance in it and start learning about different frameworks in front end. For example, there is React.js. So React.js works on JavaScript and it is a front end framework where you can build your own websites. Apart from React, there are other front-end frameworks as well that you can try. For example, AngularJS, there is Vue.js, which is also quite popular among the developer community. So go check these frameworks out in order to make the front-end of your websites. 
So now you've mastered one of the front-end frameworks and you are officially a front-end web developer. So how do you transition towards being a full-stack developer, learning about the back-end part of it as well? So let's talk about the frameworks which govern the back-end. So over there, you'd need to learn about Node.js. So Node, again, works on JavaScript and it can be used in order to manage all the server-side requirements. Okay, front-end, back-end, all sorted, but there are some frameworks which help you govern both of these things directly for example Django so if you learn Django Django works on Python right Python programming language now Python is the most beginner friendly programming language out there and whoever learns you know Python can then transition towards developing their web applications on Django now Django supports both uh, it handles the backend as well as your front end of the web application you can build an entire website full stack website using Django go. Apart from that, you can also build websites using Next.js. So Next.js uses React and it has some additional features with it. So for example, it can handle uh, different pages quite easily. So if you're making a blog website, then adding newer pages would be quite easy for you. Apart from that, it also handles some of the backend features as well. So that's why it's a mixture of both front end as well as back end. Apart from that, you would have heard about these different uh, terms, which are MERN and MEAN stack. So what do these stand for? So MERN stack stands for MongoDB. So MongoDB basically is a database. The next one is Express.js, which specifically works on APIs. If you don't know what API is, it is basically the connecting block or the connecting bridge between your web application and the outside world. The next letter R stands for React. So React, as I just explained, it's a front end framework. And then Node.js, uh, which is for the end and Node.js works on the back end again. So that is what Mern stack stands for. And mean stack is very similar MongoDB Express. But then for A, there is AngularJS, which again is a front end framework. And in the mean stack, you do not use React. Instead, you use AngularJS and then Node.js is again there in the mean stack as well. Okay, so we've talked in detail about uh, right from learning your HTML, CSS to transitioning over to being a front end developer. So now let's talk about the most important question, which is how much salary can you expect once you become a full stack web developer and what is the comparison between being a front end developer versus being a full stack developer right so let's get onto my laptop and uh, search for it right away so here are the salaries that you were waiting for so over here we have full stack web developers now full stack web developers are earning around 5.5 lakhs per year now this if you compare it with front end and back end you'd be shocked so just wait for it so over here i have front end developers salary and that is actually higher than full stack web developers the reason for that is because front end developers are specialized specifically in say for example react or whatever is the front end framework that they are working on so uh, front end developer salary is 6 lakhs whereas back end developers actually earn more than front end which is around 7 lakh per year so of course this is salaries in india so that's why it's quite less and that is uh, specifically for people who are just starting out so fresher salaries uh, this is the average salary that you can expect but if you have enough experience you have built some projects and you have a portfolio and you are also working for a company outside India, then the price just shoots up. It even touches 60, 70 lakhs per year for a fresher. Apart from this, if you're a freelancer and if you're building websites, so if you're building the back end, front end, every single thing, then an average ticket size for a project like a web uh, application is usually from 1 lakh to 10 lakhs, right? So this is a huge range, but it depends on the type of features that the client wants and all of these things. So you can actually earn a lot more if you are a freelancer, especially if you have good clients, then you can earn way more than having this salary, right? So now that you have an entire roadmap of becoming a web developer and I'm assuming that you've followed it through and you've become a full stack web developer, what is the next step? The next step is applying to jobs. So how do you write emails and how you can use text blaze in order to write it very fast? So I'll show you this and a lot more on my laptop. So let's hop onto my laptop. 
So over here, I'm on Chat GPT right now. I'll just write down a small uh, application template, job application template for full stack web developer. And uh, once I have it, I'll put it in my text blaze account and then use it for all of my emails, right? And I'll show you how you can do that pretty fast. So, so within just a few seconds, I have the entire template here. So I'll just copy this. I'll paste it as a snippet in my text place account. So the shortcut would be job apply and uh, the label would be web dev job apply. Okay. And here is the text that I want to add. So I have added the entire text, which starts with dear, uh, or we can just keep it as hello. Okay and then here the company name will come and everything will be there so let's remove all of these brackets so uh, full stack web developer position uh, and then number of years of experience i'll just keep it to say five years apart from that we'll just do this and my name is Ali Salanki, and then the watermelon so we've written the entire snippet. Now let's just go over to our email and see how we can use text place for it. So over here, I'll just write in any of the people that I want to mail. For example, I want to mail Ali at the rate the watermelon gang and I want to apply for a job at watermelon gang, right? So job application and here I can just put in the snippet, which is job apply and you'd see the entire application has been written. Now let's just send this email. So you can do this as many times as you want. Say you're writing another email and you're writing it to showworld at the rate gmail.com and you keep the subject to say job application, right? And you want to write the same email here as well. So you can just put in job apply. And as soon as I press the Y, the entire email is written for me, right? from my text blaze dashboard. So this is something that you can use in order to apply to jobs once you have gone through the entire roadmap. So as you can see, you can write these job applications uh, right from scratch. And as you can see, I've been selected to the watermelon gang right now. So yeah, that's how you can uh, apply to all of these jobs and uh, make sure you don't have to write the same email again and again. So that was it for this video. If you like this video, then do press the like button. By the way, I have an entire course on freelancing on my courses platform. So go check it out and yeah, see you over there. Bye-bye.